Okay, versus battle. Hove Drake. Oh, that's a real tough. Oh, yeah. Now, come on with it. Come on with it now. Because, you know, Drake did in so little time what most do in a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Should I put that together? I didn't even try that. See how they did that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a tie. <laughs> oh, you can't have no versus battle. You can't have no tie, no versus battle, phone it. Yes, you can. Me and Tushar was a tie, right? <laughs> the baby won that. <laughs> hey, you and Tushar was collabing. How you gonna be joining in on his song? <laughs> See, this is the thing with J with Jigga is tricky. That's what I'm saying. Because really, I remember I was on the soundtrack with him. It was called Sprung Sprung Soundtrack. Jay Brown um, got me on that soundtrack, and Jigga was on there as well with me. And it was 1996. Um, uh huh. And I remember, um, you know, I remember watching Jigga. That was, that was with uh, Tommy Davidson and Jamie Foxx, right? I believe so, yep, yep. That 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 soundtrack, I believe that went gold. <laughs> I think I got a gold record in my hallway along with Booty Call and a whole bunch of other soundtracks <laughs> back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just knew Jigga. I got to say, I realized that the man put in a lot of... See, what it is is that dude, they start accepting hood shit on the radio when he came in. Right. And I and I ain't trying to shine the light back on me, but a lot of my ghetto anthems that people love, they wouldn't play it on the radio back then. They be right. by, they they try to categorize my shit as a uh, local, not right. global. You know what I'm saying? That's how they right. did me. It was like it was a fucked up. I gotta like I say, I'm older and wiser. I can hold a grudge against a whole bunch of motherfuckers how they used to do us in radio and how the Bay Area used to get done. But anyway, right. Let's get back to Jigga. Jigga really got a body of music, man. A long list of music. His, his, his catalog is longer than train smoke, man. People don't realize that. Right. And and it was big records that, you know, even his soil shit was being able, uh, was able to be played on the radio. And when you got all that, and then you got, you know, that machine behind you as well, and he, don't get it fucked up. He started off, you know, independent. I think he was with Priority Records on this first one, Reasonable right. Doubt. And, the whole woo wop, you know, and he started off back with jazz, jazz old. I remember that he used to be in the videos because I remember when he came back and resurfaced in the like, like 89, 90, he used to do jazz or somewhere around there. I see him there. I'm like, man, this dude look hella familiar. So he started 93, I think he came with his, with his one song. And I was, they was like, man, all my guys were like, man, dude got a little bit of game about himself. Like he kind of woke and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, we bait niggas. So we, 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 we look at who kind of laced up, who gamed up. You feel me? Right. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And we felt the same way about Biggie too. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like these niggas is different. Them niggas gamed up, you know? And so anyway, make a long story short and a short story long. I just think that Drake, um, in so little time, he did a lifetime of work and that's going to be heavy, man. But I really think that Jigga will win because Drake, but well, Drake is a trip because Drake got slaps that was for the broads, but the dudes will love it too. And right. then he got that hip hop shit too. Like Drake can rap. I fuck with Drake yeah. heavy. That'll be yeah. a good versus. I would love to see that versus. Everybody would. That'll break the fucking internet. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.